Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Jeff and Jason Play Dishonored 1. I almost said 2. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! I'm Jeff. I'm Jason, and okay, so a uh, recap of what we did last. We just got our, our superpowers from the outsider, and we just woke up, and there's a bunch of shit. There's a lot of room. treasure in our room right now, yeah. There's a bone. Oh, equip the heart. Yes, I will do that. Aha! Wow, look at it all. Yum. Bone charms provide small supernatural benefits. Locate them by listening for the song they emit. By default, you can activate up to three bone charms at once in the bone charms section of the journal. Oh man, there's another one. There's tons of them. And this is probably because they, of um yeah well right like the, these were all pre-order bonuses that are right. now part of the collector's edition yeah already. yeah good lord we got a book it's the early life and criminal record of slackjaw there was money on that book too i think right what? yeah pouch yeah thank you 500 damn something to sneeze at i thought it was basically just like the uh like a lock on the book. Sure. <laughs> it was a journal. So, yeah. The Royal Spy. This is the fourth day, month of high cold. Hmm. Fascinating. Myth mystical rat artifact. Okay. Oh wow. Everything is usable. <laughs> you just we got a trophy for <laughs> being occultists. Yeah. And that's just by us just scavenging around. Yeah. Basically turning the game on. Right. Ooh, there's something over there. And... Okay, That's the, the mission, Admiral. Yeah. Alright. So, do we want to go see the Admiral first, or do we want to snatch that up? I think we want to snatch that up, because the right. Admiral's going to send us on our merry way, right? Yeah, probably. Jason's rocking the controller. I am, time, yes. And uh, I'll be backseat gaming him the whole time. Right, right. No, that's not what you... What you <laughs> okay. Alright, just had to get in there. Right away. Hmm. You pop the balloon to establish dominance, Chase. You're right. Oops. I, want, I wonder if you can't... Yeah. Oh, it's so close. I know. Maybe if you get on the banister? Yep, I'm gonna do it. Oh. Nope. Your next mission is to hop and then do it. <laughs> just, you know... Oops. There oh, you go. Mission accomplished. Thank you. So, Jeff and I and a couple of friends of ours, uh, the other night, we went to go see Ant-Man, and there was the trailer for the new Mission Impossible, and, like, I don't know, I have a soft spot in my heart for those movies, and when I saw the trailer for this, I'm like, this seems like tons of fun. I don't yeah. know. I think I've really enjoyed seeing those movies. I haven't seen one since uh, Mission Impossible 3 came out. And, really? Oh, yeah, man. Um, and that, I feel like that was when it came out, is when I saw it. Okay. And, uh, like, I, I don't know. I just, uh, maybe there's some kind of psychological phenomenon wherein that if a number is attached to your movie and it gets too high, you just stop wanting to go. <laughs> okay. Um... Uh, I do, I know I liked the first one though, and I mean I was pretty much like, you know, a teenager during those years, and right. younger, so of course a spy movie is fun to watch right. when you're a wee child, and still is to this day. When it gives you that arrow, yeah, it means you can go up there, Yeah, right? I'm just trying to... So you can jump first and then do it, right? Yeah. Oh, and then it hit X again. Okay. Crap. All right. See, I told you, backseat gaming. Whew. Just mashing. Yeah. All right. That's how the pros that's do it. There that's it is. That does it. Oh no, that's a. That's a. It's a trap. Yeah. That's a rewire, rewire tool. tool. This could be useful. No, yeah. Pull out your uh, heart again, man. All you got to do is push up and heart. down on the D-pad to switch oh, those. Right. By the way. Yours oh, no. is yeah. It's in the sewers. I think. Oh, it's in the... Uh -huh. I just thought you were exploring. I am a little bit. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Look at that diving board. I know. Ooh! Diving board and rocks. Yeah. 
This area seems a little safer, though. So we, yeah. <laughs> you shoot the water <laughs> shoot as the you water. jump in to right. destroy the water tank. Exactly. Wasn't that in some movie? Triple X 2. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I know that? Because even when I was a kid and I saw that, I was like, that seems weird. <laughs> I don't know why that scene. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, my God. I want to isolate that reaction. Just put it on my ringtone or something. Ow, oh, shit! <laughs> You sound like a 70 year old woman who just <laughs> stepped in cat piss. <laughs> oh, it's not how I wanted that to start. Okay. But it's alright. We endure, Master Wayne. <laughs> now you have to get back up again. Why do we fall? <laughs> okay. This. I, it's below that, man. To just push up on the deep end, yep. Oh, man. Sitting on the rocks. Hello, charming. Come on. Hit the level. You got it. Bingo! The powers you obtain from runes can be used creatively to defeat enemies or move through the environment. Blink from roof to roof, possess rats and fish, or slow time before rushing into a group of enemies. One of the first... Uh, Hey. powers you get in God of War is uh, if you get like a a good last second dodge you slow time. Oh cool. And uh, I've been using that almost the entire game. It's just my favorite. I love right. Well, that... Something about you know, the slowing time and then, yeah. like, if, it, if you're in that situation where you have to like be dodging right. wildly it, it's probably a good it just creates time. really Dramatic instances to also, I would imagine. <clears throat> Can you imagine, like, you just rescued this guy from prison, and then he, like, he takes a long ass nap upstairs. Right. Because, you know, who knows how long you're out having your weird occult visions. Yeah. And then Corvo just goes straight outside, starts climbing the neighboring building for no apparent reason, falls, nearly dies. <laughs> And then he just keeps swimming, and he's trying to, like, get out of the water, and he just, like, hits his face on the rocks as he tries to climb up. Walks back in, sopping wet. Doesn't say a thing about what just happened. <laughs> like, no explanation. Yeah, right. Cor are, um, hmm. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. What's up, Havelock? Well, let's get down to it. First off. I know that assassination is dark business, but sometimes good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Cauldron on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Hmm. Where's mine? Tonight, I overseer Dude, it is early, I think. <laughs> it won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. <clears throat> Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal. Because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. You got it, Admiral. Another thing. <laughs> Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us. And if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. Okay. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the house. If he, if he was such a good strategist, how'd he get caught? Obviously, he didn't plan for that. You burnt. Yeah. Oh, Sammy! Well, <clears throat> Hits That's... his face on the <laughs> door. Oh, hi. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. Hello. I work here for Admiral Havelock. We met yesterday. I'm yeah. sorry to intrude on your business, but this I'm is important. I'm starting to think this might be late evening, right? I suspect That's you're going possible. to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. 
But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. Oh. The chatter so in servant circles kill is, kill is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. I have not killed a single person, and you're calling me an assassin? <laughs> <laughs> well, there was the, there were the people that you, Jeff, haven't killed anybody. <laughs> <laughs> but Jason, <laughs> Jason has. Right now, we're under the assumption that Corvo has multiple personalities. Oh, One of them is a raving lunatic who falls off of <laughs> bridges and kills people. Uh, I like that. <laughs> That's the headcanon I've established. Mm -hmm. Good. Where did Callista go? Oh, hi. We're thinking about it. Me and the more rational voice <laughs> in my head. <laughs> I overheard the Admiral at breakfast. Talking about the overseer. Oh shit! We are we passed breakfast. And I think it's better if I don't know too much. Well, we don't know. What people are doing. It could have been this breakfast, you know. Yeah. I just hey, don't. If only you had a watch or something, right? I know. I just wish I could have done this when not on an empty stomach. You can't even see my stomach; it's that empty. <laughs> <laughs> when you want to set out, just give the word. All right. Beechworth. Just wondering, sir, if you thought about perhaps seeing Piero before venturing into the Overseer's Nest? I'd recommend going with the best gear you can get together. Well, see, we did that last time. We bought basically everything right. we could, so... But now we had, we got a bunch of money. You're right! Um... I'll be here. And we also, uh... Check the heart again, just out of curiosity, if there's any other runes... Um. Oh. All right. So if that's you, cool. uh, after you talk to Piero or whatever, you can also like get your build set up, right? Right. We haven't assigned any. I think we touched all these books. Probably. You know, just for fun. Right. It's part of his compulsive disorder. Right. You walk into a room. You open every book that you can. Right. Let's talk about new upgrades and equipment. Okie dokie. Oh, he has a rune for sale. Let's buy it. Why not? The upgrades. Oh, yeah. Crossbow Reload. stuff. Yeah. And sword crossing. Makes sword crossing more effective when locking blades and pushing against an enemy. Honestly, I feel like most of the upgrades are worth it. Yeah, yeah. Bullet capacity and bolt capacity. This is there another thing down? Okay. Bone, bone charm, charm capacity. Mm. Okay. Why don't we That'd do the? Good. Let's do the bone charm and bolt mm. capacity. Yeah. I out. don't think that bolt capacity counts for sleep dart capacity though. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Maybe we should do crossbow range or accuracy or both. Okay. Accuracy. All right. Let's do range too. Alright. That should be good for now. Okay. Where right. did you get all this money? I You've found been it in sleeping my... for four hours. I found it in my room. You mean my room? In the attic. <laughs> <clears throat> you were sleeping in my bed. <laughs> you got a lot of cool stuff. <laughs> I decided to use it for money. I'm sorry. Had. Had a lot, Got a lot of cool, of cool stuff. stuff. Okay. Blink, dark vision, bend time. I only have two rooms. Hmm. Vitality. Shadow kill. I wonder. Maybe I'll hold off just to upgrade something. But let's take a look at these bone charms. We can have eight. Oh my god. Right? Didn't it say the default was three? Something like that. Breaking glass sound is moderately reduced. Okay. Keyhole peeping ma magnification. Breath capacity in water increased. That's good, because apparently I'm in the water a lot. <laughs> Wind sword fights 
more frequently. I'm just going to go ahead and assign that. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing me. Damage from explosions reduced slightly. That seems convenient. That's cool. Dang. White rats can be consumed for mana. Do it. Okay. White rats won't attack you. <laughs> That's good synergy right there. <laughs> that is an optimal build. Hey, Dad. No! <laughs> yeah. Power effects slightly improved. Wow. That seems pretty good. Yeah, for realsies. Okay, that's a decent amount to start with. Yeah, I may as well throw Drop on Drop assassination the gives four. you a bit of health. You know. Enemies miss more often with arrows and bolts. That also seems useful. Um, Do it. Swim speed, alright. Also, just because I can be a bit of a... A clumsy Clarence. <laughs> <laughs> Mine. Piero's workshop key. I mean, you already took everything he owns. I suppose. Take it. That's <laughs> what <you> <laughs> oh! <laughs> I, I had a different thought. Like, come on. You've already taken everything. What's the point? No, no, yeah. It's there's. It's too late now. To right, be no a man regrets. Of honor. <laughs> Star chart of the oh, southern wow. skies. Uh, I, can get that so great. I can get 75 bucks for that. I know a perfect guy would want one of these. Piero. Piero would love this. Selling him his own star charts. Mm -hmm. Ready to go? You're basically Just holding his own see. stuff for ransom at I this point. I am. Mm. Oh, almost put it on backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, does this look right? <laughs> uh. Corvo, I think maybe we... Busted the wrong guy out of prison. <laughs> well, now, just to be, speak plainly, I I hoped for Slackjaw to be here. <laughs> the great Slackjaw. <laughs> you know, I read his bio, and by read, I mean I opened the book. And looked at it for maybe a second. Okay, mission clues updated. So much to do. I know. So much to see. Sam, give me the good word about the distillery trip. district. Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. Mm -hmm. City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that granny rags. They say she's nuts. Can't wait to meet her. Don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. Will do. Oh, nice. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a look at these mission clues. What do we got here? Okay. Basically, we just head over to see Overseer Campbell. Any tasks for us? Eliminate High Overseer Campbell. So we, first we need to get past the Wall of Light, and we could use the Bottle Street alleys to get around it. Also, we can talk to Granny Raves. That's true. Take the Blackmail Journal from Campbell. Okay, that's something important. I'll Spare Captain. Way, oh, yeah. yes. Let's try and do that. Yeah, why not? Optional. Talk to Granny Rags in her apartment. I know that she lives pretty close to the beach. Yeah. There she is. And, uh... If you're just walking around, you may as well bust out the heart. Right. Oh! A thing. So many things. Oh! <laughs> what was that?! Okay, I can use it from the water. I was kind of thinking I might be able to. They call him the Piranha. Why do they do that? Because he's little and he's got really weird teeth. Corvo, you should go to the dentist, man. They work wonders these days. I suppose. Do they use whale oil? <laughs> Most yeah. likely. Tim, yeah. There you are. It's a Look curtain. at that. 
And hey, more, more skewers. Is that yours? Oh, it's just a corpse. I don't care if it's yours Death or not. In the month of song, she was. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's enough of that. No. If you look behind you, there's a little love note on the wall, right? Aww. And yeah, I Darren think and Gwen. It's like a little tiny subplot in this level. You find Gwen's thing or something. Do you really? That's super cool. Oh, I could have climbed to this. Hmm. That's probably one of my favorite things about Dishonored is like you you come you up with some super stories, yeah. yeah and like you you like what would happen to me all the time is like I'd find some super weird way to get somewhere and then like when I got there like oh, oh. I could have I could have gone up that yeah for real that happens to me pretty frequently all right so that's probably the next closest thing then there's Granny we got a rune okay. Yep. Yahoo! Okay. Now, see that? You're uh, a Tarzan I, of the concrete jungle. I am. And I automatically cl uh, mm. latched onto that, yeah. so I feel like that's useful intel for you. I know you're Piranha familiar with chain grabs. I am. <laughs> oh! Well, Sorry, I, I threw up in my mouth a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Just thinking about chain grabs. Hi. You can pickpocket her. I think I will. Attention, Stonewall citizens. <laughs> I stole five dollars from someone <laughs> named Survivor. <laughs> Who is currently digging through a dumpster. <laughs> About a hundred oh meters away from guards throwing her right. neighborhood neighbors My, into the Your water. neighborhood neighbors. Friendly neighborhood neighbors. Okay. Nice, nice. I was curious because I was like sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to tell like friend versus foe, and it's this will definitely make my life a little bit easier. Right. Oh, the timing of you walking through there yeah. with that Woo! sound effect. From our honorable Lord Regent. This is the Lord Regent. <laughs> that guy is chilling hard. <laughs> Jelly. <A> survivor. <laughs> Somehow I doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you survived, but you might be better off, buddy. <laughs> that looked like me. <laughs> Tin of uh, fried yum. hogfish. Just like me, he walks around carrying stuff exactly in the middle of his frame right. of reference. Unbreakable door. Bullshit. <clears throat> there it is. He did it, guys. <laughs> Somehow. Up. Parkour! There we go. What a dump! Any stuff in here? That's mm -hmm. what I say when I walk out of the bathroom, usually. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Granny. I've got the sweet intel that you got <laughs> stuff in here. So. There's a big old skull on the floor. That can't be important right now. It's, yeah, it's nothing. Are sad today. I think the little birdies are sad today. I'm an empath. <laughs> I feel for the birdies. Oh, there's Granny. Give her a chant. If you dare. I totally dare. I'm gonna put my neck away before I talk to <laughs> Granny, though. I dear? Hi. Is that you, my dear husband? <clears throat> uh, it's me, dear. Used to be. Have you seen They're still things? so beautiful. Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them. And they're not very polite ones, either. The neighborhood's granny just rags, gone to hell, Granny. granny. Rags, let mm -hmm. us in. Oh, well. They'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But what a bother. Mm -hmm. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? I will. 
Are you chilly, Granny? Now. That's a prime state of the grandmother. Right. Yes. Being forever chilly. I think the little birdies are sad today. There oh boy, look at these purple lights. This is what Jason's bedroom looks like, by the way. Basically. Be careful, Hi. Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. I know that. You wouldn't recognize it says so her next to her <laughs> voice or lines. even the name of her family. But an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then Is that what she gets you going? I guess. Everyone's got their kinks. You're on your way to face the high overseer. The leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? I will acquire powers, my lord. <laughs> okay, so we got three runes now. Mm -hmm, we could maybe mm -hmm. acquire something if we wanted, or upgrade something that we have. I do like upgrading dark vision early myself. You know, let's do it. Can we? Yes. Oh, yeah. Just so we it's don't have only to. only costs two. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright. That's gonna be very useful for us. And we got another bone charm. Oh, the spiritual pool. You regenerate mana slightly faster. Nice. That seems Do useful. It. What should we get rid of? That. I don't know if you <laughs> realize how clumsy I can be. <laughs> Dropping glass all the time. I had a bottle in my hand earlier, and I thought about just throwing it randomly. I told you the knives go on. The you land. wouldn't dare. I certainly would. You are mad. I, yes. Let us in, Granny. Gentlemen, I say nay. You do have a lust for battle. I do. I take care of my grandmother. <laughs> if people come knocking at the door, I'm like, I will shove a knife in their head. It's a rough neighborhood, Jeff. It is now. <laughs> yeah. You're here. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. See? Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. Alright. Birthday gift. It's not even oh, my no, birthday, not but I still me. get a gift. I'm so excited. Now see, mm, on the vanity. <laughs> it's an upside down boat. I mean, okay. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. She's speedy. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Ooh. Another little favor. And I'd give you I another present. I am driven by promises another of presents. Another lovely rune carved from the bones of a dead whale. Runes, you say? You remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. That sounds nice. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle <laughs> Street gang's elixir still? Gotta teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. <laughs> What an, a very specific yeah. revenge. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. They sure now were. Run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Like, mm. 
So there's this gang, and I want you to poison them with the rat intestines, please. You'll have to go, or they won't come. All right. <laughs> you know that's, and that is perfect timing to wrap up the episode. Yeah, we got some good progress. Got a whole bunch of loot. Got back into the distillery district, and we did our part to help out the elderly, which is like something I don't know. Something I think we can all feel good about. Absolutely. You know, it's just nice to volunteer in our communities. Exactly. Otherwise, how are things supposed to improve? Change starts with you. Yeah. Viewer. Yeah. Shut off that YouTube. <laughs> Go to the nearest nursing home and... Help out. Sing a song. Right. For six pence. Yeah. Even if you're not that good at it, six pence is still six pence. You know? And you're not even in it for the money. You're in it for just community service. All right. This is Jeff and Jason signing off. Next week, we'll have another Dishonored video with Jeff taking the reins. You betcha. All right. Have a good week, everybody.